Hi everyone, we are at the Hyatt Centric in Center City this week. The hotel is celebrating pride here all month long and so are we. Yeah, it's a monumental year in the movement. 20 years since my home state of Massachusetts became the first in the nation to legalize same-sex marriage. Yeah, moment in history and to mark the milestone, we are focusing on love. We start with two couples, one serving Dutch in the neighborhood. The other, Indonesian on East Passiunk Avenue. Winkle opened five years ago in the heart of the neighborhood. Hello, I have a salmon sandwich. Serving Dutch style breakfast and lunch. I'm a Benedict fan, so we have some great Benedicts. I also love the pancakes. Winkle's staple pancake is blackberry and bacon. Bacon in the batter, that's pretty wonderful. I love the outsmiters. It's an open face sandwich with eggs on top. I eat the Heterkip outsmiter. It's a traditional Amsterdam sandwich made with braised hot chicken. How was everything? Chef John Carl Lockman is the man behind the menu. Cheers, enjoy your brunch. His husband, Bob Moisen, manages the books and adorns the walls. Photographer, artist. Both are from Philadelphia, but they met more than two decades ago in New York City. I was in advertising. I was working front of house at nice restaurants. At age 38, John Carl decided to go to culinary school, and Bob convinced him to open his own restaurant. We just couldn't afford to do it in New York. They spent 11 years in Chicago before returning to Philadelphia. Philadelphia a decade ago. You guys are right. Along the way, they became what John Carl calls serial restaurateurs. All told, but we've had seven. We had two restaurants in Chicago. Dank Bar on East Pashyunk Avenue is one of their spots. I'm just gonna turn this grill on. It's where Chef Diana with Jojo and her wife Jennifer Cowden are now doing a long-term residency with their rice ensemble concept. I'm doing an Indonesian supper club. On Thursdays and Fridays, it's a prefix menu with two seating and six courses. On Saturdays, we do a liwatan. It's basically like an Indonesian smorgasbord. Dishes include scallops in a purple cabbage fish bone broth topped with salmon roe. I'm making a banana heart salad with a spicy peanut sauce. This one is satay lilit. It's minced mackerel wrapped around a stick of lemongrass. A little bit more. There's a yellowtail tuna dish and confit Cornish hen. This is essentially my favorite dish when I go back home. Every meal comes with krupuk. We like texture with our food, so we love like crunchies. It's like chips. But the two most most important ingredients are rice and sambal. Without either or, it's just not a meal. <laughs> the rice is jasmine. The sambal are the sauces you dip in. These are the trio that I usually have. Sweet soy sambal, green garlic, and clam and shrimp paste sambal. For Diana, the Dank Bar residency is the opportunity of a lifetime. I've been dreaming about having my own restaurant for forever. Showcase our culture and our food. It's the same idea behind Winkle, the Dutch word for little shop. This means coffee and sandwiches, that's welcome. It's smakelijk means bon appetit in Dutch. Uh, chef John Carl met Chef Diana at her family's James Beard award-winning Hardina restaurant in South Philadelphia. I used to just like always eat there. It was John Carl, Diana says, who inspired her to open her own place. There isn't much like Indonesian fine dining in Philly, so I thought that I would start doing it. And he was the one who suggested she take over Dank bar. He's always been like my like number one fan and mentor. Oh, that's nice. That makes me feel good about myself. John Carl was also the one who urged his husband to lean into his love of photography. These are all limited edition prints. I print them myself, hand sign them. There's Amsterdam street scenes all around. I've been very fortunate to have places to exhibit my work. This is our restaurant. This is my gallery. For Bob, Pride Month represents the progress made just in the past few decades. I worked in a corporate environment environment where I could have been fired had I come out at the time. Now he and John Carl are married with a restaurant in the heart of the neighborhood. Ladies say hello to FYI Philly. Hello. <laughs> I'm just happy that there is a Pride Month and that people are more out. Hello. There is always a pressure to hide it, but I've never wanted to listen to that. <laughs> Both John Carl and Diana are doing special dishes for Pride Month at Pumpkin Restaurant celebrating its 20th anniversary on South Street. And Diana is planning a drag brunch in a few weeks at Rice and Sam.